Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you a story with evidence and proof. A lot of you might not believe me when I say I know where all these skeletons lie. I just haven't used them yet. Well, this one, this little skeleton is going to dance. So uh, recently, people have been upset at Rudy, MTG Finance. I'll have a more in detail video later. But pretty much I can summarize it as Rudy was charging $5 per photo with him. The entire $5 did not go to him. It did not go to Vintage Magic. It did not go to another YouTuber. The $5 went all to the artist. Now, of course, this was construed by Tolarian Community College as I have never and would never do this. Don't ever say never because that's not true. Even at Vegas, when there were more than a few moments where I felt overwhelmed. But if you're an artist, you should do this. So in my later video today, I will explain how the photographer is actually an artist. And what he is saying makes no sense because the artist is receiving the entire $5 for the photo. And they should because of exactly what Tolarian Community College is saying here. But let us talk a little bit about the mana source and what he's saying. I can't imagine this is true at all. I know pretty much every non-pro figure and none of them would do something like this ever. Okay, hold on a second. Stop the video right now. Go on their Patreons, go on Wedge's Patreon, go on Tolarian Community College's Patreon and tell me they don't they don't do this. They, they don't charge money for a signature. Now, what if I told you I have evidence they are charging money for signatures for seven months, seven months of $10 Patreon money, and they don't send the actual card. There's no tracking. And when they refund you, they refund you $10 and not the $70. So you are Patreon for $10 for seven months in hopes of getting a signed card and they lead you on, they never send you a signed card, and at the end, they refund you $10. Would that be interesting to anyone? That A, they're sending these signed cards, and they're criticizing Rudy for paying a photographer to give a great experience to his fans. Again, the video will be later today, and I urge you to watch that video as well. Would that shock you to learn that there's no tracking, that a package has been sent multiple times, there's no tracking, there is, the refund is only for $10, not the total $70 refund, and then that is good. I have the evidence, I have the screenshots, and I'm building up to it. But the irony of these tweets should not be lost upon you. You have people who are holier than thou, who are flabbergasted, angry, shaking with anger that Rudy would dare charge $5 for a professional photographer to take a photo for you. You have people spreading rumors and lies. And then you have these great content creators coming in and suggesting that they would never do something. Although if you head to their Patreon right now, you will find that, oh, something is not. Okay, let's just get straight to it because I'm too excited. I was trying to build up some hype, but I do have evidence at the end if you just want to get to it. I have never, and would never do this, even at Vegas where there were more than a few moments where I felt overwhelmed and swarmed by people, I still considered it my job to ensure those fans who wanted to meet me and get pictures or stuff signed were able to do so and for free. No. Sign card from the professor. $10 or more per month. Sign card. Many Magic the Gathering players ask the question, you are never at GP near me. I can't get sign cards signed by you. Haha, ha, that's not a question, friend, but it is true. If you like to be a $10 patron every month, I will happily send you a one-time gift of a signed card from my collection. I picked a card, bulk rare, and I will try and make it a reflection of me and the college. 
Wedge, I can't imagine this is true at all. I know pretty much every non-pro figure, and none of them would do something like that ever. All, uh, all of them have a Patreon like yours, which sells them a signed card for $10 a month. Artists should charge for signature. We're talking content creators here. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, help me. Because it's going to get brutal real fast right now. I'm building up to a interesting conclusion. Okay, so he's raised seventy-five thousand plus dollars on up on the way to eighty thousand dollars for a trip that he made that his doctors told him he should not make, where he didn't have health insurance. Although his doctor probably told him you should get health insurance, I assume that the doctor also said that if he's going to. He documented all of this on Twitter, which is both um, ridiculous from a government perspective because the government has screenshots of your Twitter too. And they're like, hmm, was this preventable? <sighs> Taxpayers are going to need to pay out the nose for this. All right, this is Wed's also $10. They did this at the same time. For this increased contribution, we will send you a one-time gift of a random MTG card from Wedge's collection signed by him a lot along with a couple stickers. Okay. Hey John, if you haven't got mailed by now, it most definitely is lost, which is especially unfortunate because I sent a cool extra. Dang. Again, no tracking. No tracking was on this card, just like there was no insurance. As someone who is a freelancer or make a content creator, he should understand having health insurance is important. My dog has health insurance. I'm not sure how, why he doesn't have health insurance when he has a pre-existing condition. Now, uh, kind of funny seeing how I suggested a signed card from one of your worst cards countdown video. So right now, look at the date. It is June. It's very civil. Uh, keep me updated once you get out to sending. Looking forward to it. I mean like a tracking number, for example. So the first package is lost. The guy contacts a lot of people who have received lost packages. They're never going to contact Weds because they don't actually want the card. Thank you. I got your back. Do you have another one to send? Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Anything else we need to go over? Are we good for now? June 22nd, we good. Great. So you would expect this second package to have tracking, but you would be wrong. You would be wrong. So again, one package gets lost, which may or may not have happened. Then the second package gets sent, and it is a signed fetch land. I mean, tracking is what, 40 cents, like a dollar? Ah, that would be nice. Thanks for the thought. There's going to be a signed card or two in the second temp, I presume. So he is now going to sign, send a regular signed card and a signed fetch land. And Wedge says, yup, yup. And let's conclude to the amazing conclusion. Thank you for being understanding. Let me figure some stuff out. So this is in August. We move from June. Second packet is lost. During this whole time, this guy's donating $10 a month. Look at my Patreon history. I've pledged $10 since January. I have seven pledges go through. So that's 70 total just in case. I'm thinking I can do one better. I can send something with insurance and two-day shipping. That basically guarantees it gets there. Does it even have tracking? No. Really? Thanks, man. Did you send it from Card Kingdom WA by any chance? Because my R RL friend said he got a package sent to his apartment or that he got tracking for it. So... um. At this point, there's a lot of confusing. Now we are moving into August. So he promises tracking and insurance. Tracking and insurance uh, was not provided. So any update? I never got the tracking. This is August 22nd number or the package for that matter. I know I had it somewhere. I remember it being in a pile of stuff to send out. Just a second. Okay, thanks. Yep, staring at it. Okay, looks like this got left behind when I had someone go to the post office for me way back when, looks like this missed around five to six letters. Welp, that's embarrassing. 
And now, I mean, let's backtrack a little bit. He is the Patreon is paying for it for seven months, right? Seventy dollars plus. And he's been giving excuse after excuse. Busy again, what's up today? And one package is supposedly lost. The second package contains a fetch land, which is lost. There may be a third package, I think, if I'm reading this correctly. Uh, the person gives the address, but Wedge keeps asking for this address. The address is already given. Like, it doesn't change. This guy's not moving. And now there are excuses after excuses of why this card, this bulk card worth less than 25 cents initially is not sent. We're not talking about a Black Lotus here. We are not talking about... We're talking about a bulk card that Wedge has the complete power to send. I'll go to the post office tomorrow or Wednesday and get these out. Can't count on anyone. The packets I see. Thanks for the update. At least it didn't get lost outright. Anything else? We good for now? So... 20 days later, and only after this guy mentions that he hasn't received the package or tracking, the excuse is, I didn't send it, therefore I don't have tracking. Can you copy me on the tracking number, please? Thanks in advance. Yes. Thanks. How's it going? Any update? Busy? My message, my message is getting buried again? <laughs> this is how they treat their fans. This is a dedicated, hardcore... I mean, this is one of a hundred people who actually want this card because he's a, such a big fan of Wedge. And this is how he gets treated? Like, what the blank? Um, and he says, I mean, I are you guys getting this? Like, a lot of you guys who love Wedge, you don't see this side of him. But I have screenshots after screenshots after screenshots because at the end of the day, it's a money. You don't even want to spend send a 25 cent bulk card to someone. You don't even want to send money. Like, you... Okay, here's what we're going to do. I've already lost two fetch lands trying to send stuff to you without tracking and insurance. So just give me your PayPal and I'll send you $10. I don't know what else to do. Ah, okay, just $10 total considering it's been so many months. But yeah, I'm sorry the package is got lost. I really wanted this to work out. Here's my PayPal anyways. Uh, this is in November sent. So basically I pledged $10 to him on Patreon for about seven months and he never sent the signed card rewards and the like. He said he tried multiple times to send me stuff and that I kept getting lost in the mail. Worst part is he never sent me tracking. I always was suspicious and he took screen caps. I know where all these skeletons are and they're very bad. And many of you ask, why am I so critical on Weds? He hasn't changed. They don't change. Uh, people don't change who they are. I truly, truly believe in that concept. People who bullied you, me when I was in elementary and middle school, they're still gonna bully. They're just in a different circumstance. I just make more money than they do now and they work for a Chinese company where I know the CEO. Now, I'm not going to be mean, but nonetheless, I could be if I wanted to. But I don't change either, right? So my point is, my point is very simple. A lot of you ask, why am I so mean to Wedge? Is because I get a lot of these screenshots. And there's a guy donates for seven months, $10. He gets refunded $10 after and being one of his biggest fans. None of you donate $10 to me. I don't have a single fan except uh, Jeremy. I, okay, Jeremy from Australia. Shout out to you. Uh, that's the only fan I have that donates more than ten dollars. And he gets a pack, and we open it, and we send it to Australia. So at the end of the day, like, this is how you treat fans, and you're upset that Rudy's charging them five dollars for a professional professional photographer to take a Polaroid, which they get to take with them that day when you won't even send a, somebody a bulk card, which is one of your biggest fans who's been subscribed to you as a Patreon for $10 for seven months. And you have the audacity to criticize Rudy for a 
Polaroid picture where he makes no money from? Same with Tolarian. I know where his skeletons are too. I mean, he is a professor at a community college, so there is a record if you're interested. Ah... <sighs> I didn't want to do this, but they kept saying dumb stuff. And do not take a holier than thou atmos. Do not be a holier than thou knight if you're corrupted like F. Bye, guys.